Hey, I'll make you a deal. Unlock this cell and I'll give you this. There's no other way out of that parking garage. Believe me. Sorry, I can't do that. I have to talk to the chief first. Look, we're both prisoners in the station. So either we play nice and help each other out. Or... Shit, it's coming. What? What's coming? Come on, come on, don't be an asshole. Okay, you need this. Just get me the fuck out of here. I don't go mad with that. Hello fellow collectors and welcome to another figure review uh, done by Ouroboros, which is me. Today we'll be doing Leon S. Kennedy from the remake of Resident Evil 2. It is by far one of the best Resident Evil games. Uh, I'm pretty sure the original three are pretty awesome, but uh, I only got to play the, the remakes, which is uh, a little unfortunate, but man, what a great game it was it was scary it was intense it was it was just great but anyway so let's get to the figure so this is done by damn toys and the, the reason why they're called damn toys is because uh, uh damn it's a good toy <laughs> i'm just kidding I, I, re I really like this guy and i'm excited to show you guys too but yeah uh leon leon is uh my favorite character i was introduced to uh leon in resident evil 4 like most people and it was it was that's actually got what got me into resident evil as well and then when I heard about the remake, I'm really excited, etc, etc. This guy's great, let's get to the review. Alright, as always, we'll start off with the box. Very cool box. Um, it's kind of like the hollow sleeve that uh, the, the game came with. Really cool kind of graphic to it. It's, obviously, you can see from the sides, uh, the front and the other side. It's a one continuous image of Leon in Raccoon City. It says Resident Evil 2, RE. But yeah, it's really cool. It's all one continuous angle. Obviously, you see Ari there, all the information on the back. And yeah, nothing on this. And yeah, stoic, looks cool. And then front here, says, oh, the top, Resident Evil 2. Bottom, same thing. And then it, it's, also, it's also got the old, scar, old style kind of Hot Toys boxes where it opens up like that. Still the same continuous image there. And yeah, pretty cool. Alright, here we have the base and feet, lower half from these knees down. Uh, it's done really well, I do like the shoes, they look pretty military kind of grade or police boots or whatever the hell they are. Uh, very nicely painted, very nicely weathered, I do like that the shoelaces are different to the actual colour of the boot because usually they just have it all one solid black colour and then they dry brush over it and obviously the shoelaces get hit quite a bit because it's quite raised, but in this case they actually have different colour shoelaces which is really cool. Standard base now, might as well cover it now before we get into the accessory section because it's it's just standard Leon S. Kennedy plaque in there and then a base. Simple style base, step kind of base. But yeah, anyway, the, the clothing on this is really cool. Very dark blue, very military looking, riot gear, whatever. Same with his knee pads, very nicely done. Like it, it, I'm pretty sure you can take all of it off if you really wanted to. Yeah, check it out. You can actually slide that off if you needed to see there where it hooks in you can just slide that off that's awesome uh scratched up knee pads looks good looks worn looks like it's it is just something that's been at the police station ready for the riot gear etc etc all the straps and buckles just look amazing uh just standard cargo pants looks good looks really nice no weathering on it mostly just on the plastic pieces like the knee pads and boots let's go a little higher shall we so some accessories will be appearing on this character. I just don't want to take it off again. It is a pain in the ass to get on. So I'm just going to leave it on here. So as you can see, the holsters, uh, this belt here, is all a accessory with obviously his, his holster as well as the knife pouch here, obviously, and his pistol. But we'll cover it as we go purely because I don't want to take it off, which is some assembly required, if you know what I mean. I really love the clothing on this. The clothing on this is just outstanding. It's probably some of the best tailored made stuff I've seen in 1-6 scale next to Deadpool, Spider-Man and some of the, or like one of the alien Ripley figures. But it's just done so well. There's so much going on and every little crevice has something new to have a look at, which is awesome. So yeah, the belts, 
the the pants the the straps everything is just done super superbly and it is one six scale the the reason why i say that is because it's all working stuff uh except for like the pouches and stuff but this is just these little buckles they work the holster can holster his pistol and it there we go can holster his pistol and this covers over if you push it down deep enough it hold on if you push it down deep enough that will cover it this is done nicely this is all velcro like actual velcro very miniature velcro kind of deal this is a rubber style material but i think they only did that so that it i don't know works for the figure i'm not entirely sure maybe they couldn't get this kind of grade material for this figure uh, in that scale but like the belts the, it's a real separate belt it's just amazing done really well elbow pads have that slight airbrushing or not airbrushing slight wear weird look which is cool the rest of his 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 t-shirt here or long sleeve shirt doesn't have any uh, wear or tear on it it's it's practically brand new and i suppose this is kind of how he started in the beginning of the game he strapped on his ride gear and he was ready to go but um there's no wear on it which kind of sucks maybe some blood splatter here and there maybe a little bit of dirt would have been appreciated done done nicely i dislike the pouches because it's kind of just generic plastic looking pouches there's no weathering on it or anything like that but it's it's practical and it works which is okay it's even got like a little I'll take the weapon out quickly even got this little keychain thing here i'm not entirely sure what this is on a cop's uniform but yeah it's got a little it's got that thing it's got a flashlight holster obviously you you put this on yourself but it works really well you've got your walkie-talkie holster it's just a really really well done overall ride gear. it's done superbly let's move a little higher shall we all right here we have the top bit uh, obviously he's got a flat jacket on uh, you can see rpd and like a little star right i think this is a riot symbol i'm not entirely sure because it's not like the raccoon police department um logo but it looks really nice really cool again all velcro you can actually remove this i'm not going to do too much but you can hear that undoing same with this here it's all real velcro and obviously these sections here and these logos here um these these jackets are made like this for riot gear and and stuff like that they're mass produced and then these bits here are all velcro so each department in the police force can uh, for example these can be used obviously to to match your size and then you could have um, your name or whatever just slapped on made in a little bit of material with some velcro on it in uh, real life situations which is really cool and uh, again the tailoring in this is is superb it's absolutely outstanding you can't see too much of the under under shirt blue you can see some pockets on the side here and it just kind of looks like a standard blue uniform for a police officer so this this doesn't look all that great but it does do you want to know why because it's real stitching it's not a piece of plastic it's not a print that they just printed on similar to like the rpd logos here it's it's an actual little bit of i'm not too sure what it's called where you sew into patterns like this quilting i don't, I don't know but it's real it's it's actual material it's not a sticker which is outstanding this this figure blows me away when it comes to the tailoring let's move on to the head sculpt and see what we can see all righty here is the head sculpt and again it's done really well I think um, it's it's a little bit off, but I, I, I can't really put my finger on what makes it look not so good. Like it looks like him from certain angles, and but it doesn't at the same time. I, I don't know how to how to describe it, but I'm I'm happy with the head sculpt. It it does look like Leon from the game, and yeah, it's it's got his like strong jawline, his little ass chin in there. And there's a few blemishes and stuff on his face that you can't necessarily see due to the harsh lighting. Let's see if I can change that. That doesn't help too much, but you can see a little bit of a difference there. Um, I also think that his hair might be a little bit too bright. Oh, like, I think it needs to be a little bit darker brown. It, it shows up a little bit better in person than it does on camera. 
but this this again this figure is pretty much perfect i highly recommend getting it maybe a wash through the hair might have helped maybe some highlights through the hair would have darkened it up or lightened it up to to have some sort of 3d aspect to it but i i do i do like it you can obviously see it's not a hot toy but it is fucking damn near close the eyes are nice and glossy the mouth is painted well the skin texture is painted well the hair is painted okay uh, i think it just needs to be a little bit darker and maybe maybe some darker washes would have darkened it up i'm not entirely sure but there's just something off about it i'm sure you guys can 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 tell too you know if you if you do notice what it is just jot it down in the comments i'd like to discuss it and be like yeah you're right or I don't really feel that's right, etc., etc. All right, now comes the accessories. All right, moving on to the accessories. And as you can tell, there are so many accessories. It's so difficult to know how to pose this guy because of how many they are. And they all look awesome. Obviously, there's not all of them. They're missing the belt with the pistol holster. They're also obviously missing the, the sheath for the, the two knives. But yeah, this is pretty much all of them. And it is amazing how much there is for only four hands. So that's kind of a little bit of a letdown there. That kind of sucks. There's only four hands. There's not a fist. There's not a relaxed hand. I'm not entirely sure why they didn't include more hands, but they didn't include more hands. <laughs> so obviously we've got a resting hand where you can use it to put on the, at the bottom of his, his holster, or oh, he's like a gun hand. His, his trigger finger hand, as well as maybe putting it on the rocket launcher, maybe holding something like this. You know, it, it, it can come in handy, but <laughs> handy. Yeah, so you can um, obviously have that for multiple purposes, but yeah, and then you have this thumbs up kind of hand where I'm not entirely sure. It's kind of maybe you can hold the knife or the spray or the walkie talkie. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe the grenade. Maybe you could like. Put the, the little pin from the grenade over his thumb and that, that'll be pretty cool. Maybe a holding forward hand, something like that. Do you know what I mean? But um, yeah, only, only four hands. I guess they will do the job, but at the same time, I, um, I would have liked to have different kind of hands for, like even just a general cupping hand for the flashlight or something like that. Um, yeah, so you've got those four hands, obviously the trigger hand. I guess they'll do what you need to do, but for someone who likes to display different options throughout you know, the years that you have the figure, I would have liked a little bit more. It comes with this walkie-talkie that slots into a little walkie-talkie pouch. It's got little, a little clip there, so you can put it on his, on his shoulder. Handcuffs, first aid spray, handcuff holster. This is awesome. These keys look sick. They're translucent and the detail in I think these two or these two is just phenomenal. Like the there's negative space holes through through the actual like oh, loop bit. I'm not entirely sure what you call that part of the key. Shotgun shells, 50 cal shells, and standard uh, nine mil bullets as well. And then you have a strap for the rocket launcher. So you have the W870 with custom parts of the long barrel and the shotgun stock. It's essentially this weapon with obviously long barrel and the stock swapped out. Uh, so this, this here is also the W870. Then you have the Matilda with a custom part of the gun stock up here, the muzzle as well as the high capacity mag. And then we have the M19, obviously the two combat knives this one is just a standard combat knife and i think this one was a exclusive when you pre-ordered the game like in-game content or something like that i'm not entirely sure then you, you obviously get your hand grenade your flash grenade and you get the le5 i don't remember using this as leon i'm not sure maybe they included it maybe they're gonna do the lone survivor and then you have the anti-tank rocket launcher rocket yeah these are Epic. I'm going to get a little bit of a closer shot on all of it and the paintwork and what each thing can do But yeah, let's let's get into that shall we? All right, here we have the keys probably one of my favorite accessories. I just love these keys. They're so cool They also came with the collector's edition. But yeah, look at that. It's so detailed those 
negative spaces are just in here that I'm not too sure if you can see it but yeah no it's really well done and it, it is um, translucent plastic the whole thing is a blue translucent plastic but the silver's painted on same with each one but it's just so well detailed it looks absolutely gorgeous yeah here's the first aid spray looks really cool um, you, I can't read this top bit here but it, it does say first aid recovery spray so it's actually not first aid spray it's just recovery spray but yeah just plain white silver it does the job looks nice looks pretty cool dig it here is the walkie-talkie really really well de detailed very nicely done there's nothing too spectacular about the paint job but they are individual buttons painted or I don't know if it's like a paste on sticker kind of thing or whatever but there are individual numbers on there which is very impressive and then obviously you have the cord which actually stretches really cool I wouldn't pull it too much because I have a feeling once you pull it it's not gonna retract again and then the little speaker piece looks cool very cool there's a clip I was telling you guys about it just clips onto his shoulder here is the handcuffs and the holster very nicely done it's not real metal but the chain is um, not, uh, nothing too spectacular about this um, I, it would have been cool if you could actually get ones who that worked where they open and close I'm pretty sure the Dark Knight Joker came with with that the deluxe version of that where yeah it was a working handcuff system for the interrogation room but yeah they just they just slot in here nicely like so and then yeah they, they just clip onto his belt very cool here is the flashlight nicely detailed yeah so it's it's just like hollowed out in there but it has the appearance that there is a lens very cool I like that just nicely painted the button on the back there cool grips and so, so, such the grenades here's the standard hand grenade the pin is an actual little metal pin that that it doesn't pull out uh, because the end there is bent but I'm not going to try and pull it out because I think it's going to be a bitch to get back in but it's just like a, a keychain loop very cool it's got some paint details on the bottom where it's slightly scratched up with some silver paint you can just hook the handle onto Leon's belt there and then here too it says flashbang caution I can't read the rest of that but it looks very impressive my sticker is coming off a little bit as you can see it's kind of hard to push it back down with this in the way but yeah it just slides onto his belt um, it has this kind of triangle little hook thing here too I think that might go on his belt I'm not entirely sure but obviously you have the same kind of pin as well really impressed with the detail here we have all the shells this guy is called Steel Boy. <laughs> Strange. Um, so they, they all they all do come out, but beyond that point, it's just black, including these guys here. Uh, but it, it's still like nicely detailed and and, and painted. I, I kind of feel like I want to get uh, another one of these on eBay or something, and then just separate all of these so I can have maybe a full one of these with real working or like not real working bullets, but real ish kind of bullets which is pretty cool same with the 45s that's just the the detail in this is really nice like it even even has descriptions and stuff on the back this is just steel boy but yeah it's it's very well done this is just a, a cardboard so it's not painted this is just the cardboard but the paint job on the on the bullets is still quite nice you know and then obviously the bullets here too it's very well done i love i love the mount this guy comes with it's almost like a deluxe version, you know? And here we have the knives. Nicely done. Simple paint. And obviously you can see the end there where it hooks onto a rifle of some sort. Very well done. Very, very cool. I'm not entirely sure why this one's yellow. I would have just been happy if they gave us one, you know? Very cool. This one's obviously a little different, a little fancier. Got a nice cool handle comfortable handle by the looks of it gold pieces and a little bit of a darker paint job very well done and here is the 
just the extended mag for the Matilda. Nothing too crazy. Bullet painted on the inside there, very nice. So this does come out if you want the standard version of the Matilda. Uh, in, in the packaging, it does come with this on top of it or already installed. So, but it's, it looks pretty awesome. Like it, it's really well done. Very happy with this. It even says Matilda on there. I'm not too sure if you can figure that out, but, or see it. But yeah, it cocks back. Empty over there. And if you look through there, you can see the bullet, which is really impressive. And then you can take this guy out, put the extended one. As you go through the game, you upgrade your weapons uh, with found parts like the barrel in front here, as well as the extended mag. Very cool. And then obviously you have the stock for it. Just a bit of plastic. Very cool. And that also installs on this guy here, which is two little slidey bits here and here that you just, oopsie, slide onto it like that. And then, yeah, there's the fully upgraded Matilda from the, from the game, which is really impressive. Then we have this guy, same kind of deal. Pulls back, mine's a little stiff, very cool. You can make it look like he, his, his weapon's lying on the floor, empty, with a clip next to it or something. This clip does come out too. You can't interchange the, the clips because this one's slightly thinner. But yeah, nice paintwork, gunmetal gray with some browns. Very, very impressed. Now we'll get to the slightly bigger one, so I'll zoom out a bit. Okay, here we have the shotgun. Very, very cool. Kind of look like a standard issue kind of shotgun for police station. Straps are really cool. They work too. It looks really nice. It does cock back, which is really cool. You can see the open chamber over there. Really awesome. I kind of wish if you looked in, you could see a, a steel boy, <laughs> the, um, the ammunition. That would have been really cool. It's nice slides. Um, nothing too in, like impressive with the paint job. It's just kind of what you see. There's no real washes or you know weathering on it at all. But it, it still looks really cool. Then when you upgrade it, it ends up looking like this big boy. And this isn't the biggest boy we get, <laughs> which is pretty awesome. So it looks nice, very well done. You can see some paint details over here of wood grain, some shading on, on the ends to make it look nice. Mine has this weird frosting effect from the glue that they put on, as you can see. I'm pretty sure it comes off with some warm water, but yeah, kind of sucks. Same, same deal, just cocks back. Again, chamber opens up too. Really cool, very impressive. Technology on these figures are getting better and better, I tell you that. Here we have the submachine gun. Uh, weird straps. I'm not too sure if the straps were actually like this. It's like a strap going across and then, yeah, it's just very strange. Oh, sorry, it goes through, through here and then comes around and then hooks back on here. It's very strange. And then, yeah, the sight looks nice, just like a silver kind of reflective thing there. So it actually looks like there is a some sort of scope in there. It does come off very easily. That's one of the complaints. It, it kind of just comes off really easy. I feel like I'd have to pose Leon with this and then put the scope on to make sure that it doesn't come off while I'm moving it around. Again, this nicely slides out like so. Very, very cool, the stock. You can even see like safety and semi-automatic and automatic settings here. Yes, the, the mag does come out as well. Very cool. I think that's it. I don't think there's any other moving parts. Yeah, each side is different, which is quite impressive. Very, very, very cool. Alrighty, here we have the big, big boy. This guy is absolutely awesome. Um, four holster anti-tank rockets, this thing shoots, which is really cool. You can see the big ass trigger over there. Use like three or two fingers to pull. Um, same kind of reflective surface on this guy here. So it looks like there's a scope that flips up. This comes out. So there's a little bit of articulation. And I'm not entirely sure what this bit of wire is for. Maybe it's to prop down or because it does have a little ring here 
as well as on the end here where you actually put the holster on. So that's something that's really cool that I like about this figure. You can have him geared up with almost all his accessories. The keys you can maybe put in one of the pouches if they opened up, which kind of sucks. The radio is automatically installed on him. The guns have slings that you can just have a whole buttload of like hot fuzz kind of movie moment with all the weapons just strapped to his back. The Matilda has all the parts that you can put on as well as have maybe two guns in one hand. You can have it holstered. You can have one holstered, one in his hand. They're talking about the, the handguns, of course. And then you can have this on his back. You can have him holding this with all the weapons on his back. The grenades can fit on his pouch. It's just very impressive. I'm very impressed with this with this figure and I'm, I highly recommend getting it. You know what I mean? Very impressive. All right, here's the backdrop that he comes with. And yeah, it's pretty cool. Best part is it actually fits in my display cabinets. The ones in the background that you always see me uh, in front of. But the only problem is it's so dark, the figure stands out with way too much, as well as the, the resolution of the actual image isn't very good. So I feel like they should have used maybe digital art rather than a screenshot of it or of, of the game or something like that. That kind of sucks. Still pretty cool though. I'm glad that they actually made one that fits. They probably, I feel like this company, um, Damn Toys, this is my first Damn Toys figure as well. So I feel like they may have been like, we hear the uh, com people complaining about the backdrops not fitting. So why don't we actually make one that fits? I'm not entirely sure with the other figures that Damn Toys does. But yeah, I'm impressed with the fact that they made this fit. You know, it's for the collector. Why not make it to scale for the collector? Not everyone will agree with me, but that's my opinion about it at least. Yeah. Right, thanks all for watching i just want to give a special thanks to everybody who has subscribed i'm almost up to 40 subscribers as well as my uh, devil may cry dante from devil may cry 5 uh, has got over 2,000 views so thank you everyone for that uh, uh, go check it out it's all on my channel it, it's it's probably one of the longest videos it's got one of the coolest intros of my entire you know review saga thing and it's one of the coolest statues i have I think it is the coolest statue just because I'm such a Devil May Cry fan. But anyway, thank you all for watching. Enjoy your, your, your week. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.